Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China. Today when you see that, you know I'm in Italy. That part, Transzoia County, the basket of the country. We have such a beautiful monument here that indicates you are in the basket. The basket of the country. So welcome back to yet another exciting episode. My name is Brian Anoto and this is Anoto in China. But today I'm Anoto in Kenya. I'm Anoto in Africa. Particularly I'm an auto in my country, 254, in Kitale, the city where I was born. So today I'm going somewhere special. I'm going somewhere special. I'm going to the Kitale National Museum. Kitale National Museum. It's a big of activities happening in Kitale, a small town with a big story. So many people come from this area. So many, so many. Like Kitale has ever produced one of the former presidents, no, former vice presidents, Michael Kijana Wamalwa. This is also the hometown of Omanyala. Mariga family or the Wanyama family, they also have a plot here. And so many more, so many more, more people are from Kitale. So, let me take you to Kitale Museum. This is ADC offices, but today that's not my interest. The road has been developed partially, but not fully. As you can see, And uh, the current governor is called Natembea. Natembea, like Natembea in Swahili means walking. I am walking. So our governor is called Natembea, the new governor of Kitale County. And uh, we have a new club called Club Touch. Club Touch behind me and going over there is the district of Kitale the Faroe Hospital if I'm not wrong. Business is booming but I'm going over there going to Kitale Museum which should be this part Kitale Museum so follow me Let me show you from here. National Museums of Western Kenya. If I zoom it, if I zoom it in a moment, National Museum of Western Kenya. So in a minute, I'll be going to that place. National Museum of Western Kenya. Let me unzoom. Right. Beautiful. So I'm going to show you the Kitale National Museum. Initially, the gate, when we were young, the gate used to be somewhere around this place um, the gate used to be here let me show you the gate the old Kitale Museum gate so this used to be the old Kitale Museum gate this one and the entrance and the main hall maybe the main gallery of collection 
and then on the other end research and uh, they also have a snake park and a botanical garden or a forest so this is where actually museum is going over there is the Kitale district hospital and over here is Kitale National Museum so let's make our way into the Kitale National Museum this is the new gate but this gate needs to be improved this is the old the the new old gate looks like this looks like this so over here it's been written National Museums of Kenya this one National Museums of Kenya where heritage lives so let's enter and see what we have here in Kitale National Museum so we're gonna make our entrance from here and I'll document as I go but is it okay. hello how are you doing uh, how much is it to access the museum? Eh? Oh, 100. 100. 50. 50. Oh, um, but I'm a citizen, so 100 is okay. E-citizen, you know, E-citizen. You E-citizen. So I have to log in through E-citizen. What? That's the whole process. What if I don't have internet? I can't just pay and enter. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. E citizen. Yeah, yeah. No, see, Peter. Sinizangu za kuvizi tu kundani. E citizen. I actually have to log in. Uh, sign in. I am having a difficulty <laughs> logging in. Is it a must ni ingie na e-citizen? I cannot just pay na ingie. I don't know. The one who can assist you. In line with the new government regulation, all payments will be by e-citizen. Okay. Well, this is something new. E -citizen. Oh my goodness. Okay. So enter your email ID. This one. Your email Abaya Friday. Kwa sana. Mbona unachukua kamera? Sio. Nimekuchukua. Commission of us cannot be allowed to take. Sijachukua. Nimejichukua. Sijaro unaona. Unless you okay unless you want to I turn the lens to show you. But this is purely me. So you can see. Uh, you can be something technical for us to know. No, 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 no. You might be saying you are taking yourself. No, you see, you can see the other screen on this. And end. why are you interested in taking yourself? Well, yeah, because it's I do I do it for fun. So you, you want to judge my fun? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. But uh, this is just me having fun. We used to come here. the intention you are having. We used to come here when we were young, so it's memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was born here, 
and most of the time on the weekends. Are you a journalist? No, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm just having fun. I'm not a journalist. Oh, this yeah. is for your own. Yeah, for my own fun. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So don't mind. Okay. If I want you to appear, I'll ask. Can I yes, turn? Yeah, because uh, unless you seek permission. Yeah, yeah. Account. But this is just for me. Oh. Yeah. yeah. If oh. I was a journalist, I could come with a big, big camera, big mics. Yeah. yeah. So don't mind. Now, the <laughs> is citizen is. What's password? <laughs> you have forgotten. I have forgotten my e citizen so password. Sir, just click in where it says forgot password. Eh? Forgot and password. Then you reset it again. Forgot password. Mm. Uh, account type should be citizen. Citizen. Yeah. Email citizen. address. When did they start uh, asking for email? This uh, e citizen. Oh. We, we, we did hear the president announcing that uh, all government services now are going to be oh, oh, online, online. Mm, all right, no. For online. transparency. Mm -hmm. okay. For any government service you seek and you are supposed to pay, okay. you just pay through e-citizen. E-citizen, okay. Yeah. okay. We used to go the analog way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the previous we used to pay through a person. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, he changed and said we go to this. Oh, okay, okay. So if somebody comes with a kabambe, he cannot? No, I will just assist him or her uh -huh. to log in. To log in. Then I will just prompt him or her okay. to pay through the other, his or her person. Uh, let me try. One more time. <laughs> it's a lot of. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know when you now start the setting. Yeah, yeah. It will take you through processes. Yeah. So enter OTP. Oh. There's an OTP that we sent you. Okay. 297, 292. 297, This camera of is so special, man. I've never seen it. This is called a DGA Action 4. DGA, DGI Action 4. You can also dive with this to the ocean, 18 meters, but if you put a protector, uh -huh. you can dive up to 60 meters. And it still works? And it still works perfectly. Aye. Yes. <laughs> I want to go to Mombasa to dive and see how, but it won't get uh, no cover up to 18 meters. Yesterday I was... Yeah, yeah, very clear. Yesterday I was filming in the rain at mm. Ndura mm. and it, it didn't go off. John! So you stay around where are you from? I'm from Nairobi. From Nairobi? Yeah, but this is home. Uh, you, you come from Winnie? Yeah, yeah. You know Sirende? Sirende, yes. Lamplighter? Yes. So before Lamplighter, around there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just before you get to Lamplighter, before Kwaketer, mm -hmm. around that place. Oh, yeah. 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 You also come from those sites? No, no, no. Which side do you come from? I come from uh, Kaplamai. Oh, Kaplamai mm -hmm. in. What's the name? Malshaba or which? Yes, Malshaba or yeah. route, route to, from Malshaba, you just take yeah. the up, road. Up to Sibanga? Yeah. Why? Right. You, you just, Sibanga is on the other side. Okay. Kaplama is on this other side. On the ah, right. yeah. kind of board. ah, nice. At least now you are also born here. Mm -hmm. When you were young, did you used to come to the museum? Yes, of course. How many times? I tell me how. <laughs> when you were at school, uh, like, Four to three times. Four. I used to come here so many times. Mm. When we were in Sunday school, mm -hmm. primary. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to reminisce on the old memories. Okay. Yeah. I wish I could come with my brothers. Mm -hmm. But maybe next month I can come with them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you also have a family, you can come with them? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm still planning to have one. Okay. Yeah, sooner or later. <laughs> but now you see. Yeah. I don't know which way you would want to have it, your family because uh, right now the government, say, uh -huh. you have to cough 50,000 plus <laughs> for you to, to get that uh, marriage <laughs> certificate. <laughs> How much is the marriage certificate? 50,000 right 50. now. What? Mm. And come we stay? <laughs> <laughs> but you see, but yeah. that come we stay, yes. 
The law says uh -huh. to stay with a woman for six months. For six months. Is she is your wife? She, is she is your wife? Even if she does not want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if she goes to court and sue you, yeah. Definitely, she will become your wife automatically. But uh, that's very harsh. You are forcing somebody <laughs> to be somebody's somebody. Yeah. The government is entering. It's interfering with the family. <laughs> Okay. So I'm I'm done up to here. Okay. Yeah. Oh. 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 You want us now to go to let's go to national first. Oh, national. Oh. And then we, we select oh. the Ministry of Tourism. Oh, oh, Ministry of Tourism. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. Uh huh. And then we go to online so the oh. admission to museums. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Close. Close. Services apply. Oh, apply. apply. What? <laughs> Am I buying land? <laughs> Why is it taking us to look in again? I think okay, you already you, looked yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, you already looked. Okay, let's click again. Maybe I just put yeah, the password yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's confirm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's back. back again. Well, uh, but it's, it's okay now that we are there. Uh -huh. Go to next. Fields. Ma, 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 to fill in. Okay. Uh, Kenya yes. Next. Uh -huh. we choose which museum you uh, are you visiting? Italy. Italy. Okay. Also, you have said one museum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. It is for tender. Yeah. Choose. Uh, individual. An individual. Yeah. Yeah. And you see institutions yeah. also come here. Oh yeah, but yeah. Oh, but that's no, your one. No, you don't have to watch your One, yeah. yeah. You have somebody else. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, me, myself, and I. <laughs> yeah. So you are not accompanied by children. Yeah. yeah. So we say no. No. And then we prefer. Mm -hmm. We go to more than two people. What? We say okay here. Yeah. Uh huh. Then we wait for the ambassador from. Mpesa, Mpesa yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the number that is paying. Yeah, fourteen people. five two four one. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we say pay. Pay. Now it will only it, it will ask the it, 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 it automatically calculates the amount you are supposed to pay. Okay, okay. So you put in your yeah, yeah. Mpesa pay. Okay, one fifty. Okay. All this for one fifty? Yes. Imagine they are charging fifty. Easy services. And every transaction you transact is easy to pay. You pay fifty. Respective of whatever amount you are paying. This is not convenient. <laughs> it's not fair. I've spent ten, almost ten, ten minutes here. Yeah, imagine. Yeah. So if people are many, yeah. so many, so much time, or I can pay before coming, so that when yeah, I come, yeah, I just it, show it you. True. Yeah. You can do that. Now that I know. Mm. Next time I come, yeah. I will just pay before. Yeah, just, just come and show us. The yeah. Receipt. Or maybe I can pay. Maybe if I'm going coming next week, I can just pay now. Yeah. And then next week I come, I'll just show you. Yeah. 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 But, but anyway, I know it's for accountability. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, students only. I don't know whether you. Supposed to, I suppose you are supposed to click on a page oh, that says oh, complete. Eh? Oh, complete. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's still working. Eh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you have to hey. click in here to complete your payment. Uh -huh. hey. Hey. Still confirming. Eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, now, when it well, has given us the receipt, yeah. Yeah. it shows that you are now, it's now successful. Okay. Yeah, now that I know next time. Yeah, yeah. give me your ID number. With this, 30, 23. Yeah. Thirty twenty three, fifty two thirty two. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, Asante sana. So you walk in all areas. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. snack, the snacks are they there? Yeah, the snacks. On the other end. Yeah. Okay, under. And it, we have the gallery. The gallery. Yeah. In Nairobi, I used to see there are students on internship. Yeah. Who take you around? Do you yeah, have of course, here? Yeah, they are still around here. You will just find them there. At the snake park. Oh, the snake park. At the gallery. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Karibu. But you see, I've filmed myself in time. <laughs> Unless you want to appear, I turn the camera. <laughs> no problem. Okay, thank you so much for your guidance. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm the gallery because of time. Eh? Yeah, oh, that, that what time does the gallery close? We are, we are closing at five. Five. Yeah. Can I put this here? Yeah, you can. So, it's just a sweater, no bomb. <laughs> okay, no thank bomb you. Inside, yes. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. My name is Brian. Brian? Yeah, Anoto. Anoto. Anoto? Yeah, Anoto. A-N-O-T-O.
Yeah. yeah. First name to uh, Unique Kuri. name. Peter. Peter. Yes. Uh, Peter who? Korir. Korir. Chamge. Chamge. Ibu Nuanu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've uh, it, uh, this is a cosmopolitan yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. But I have. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay, Kongwe Kapsa. Get to you. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I start from here. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, there? Yeah. Yeah, go. Okay. Straight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. All right. So that's a, a hell of a procedure to access this place. Maybe the government wants more accountability. But initially, we just used to. We just used to pay via Mpesa. Sometimes we used to pay cash and you enter. But right now you have to put your details. You log in by, via eCitizen. eCitizen is like the national platform for all government uh, uh, services. So you must log in via eCitizen and then you proceed. So let me show you what's happening. This is an old hall here in the Italian National Museum. And I want to show you here, but uh, maybe because these guys are around this place, I will not, I will not go there. Okay, first, first things first. Let me go to the main gallery. So here we have an old tractor, this one. This, an old, old, old tractor. Let me see if it has some words. says Transoya being the grain basket of Kenya, this structure was issued by the white settlers who were allocated huge tracts of land to plow their farms. So this is an ancient, very, very ancient structure. And the brand is something Osus, Osus. And then here you can see an old, old, old model of structure. So I think during the uh, agrarian revolution, this was invented to till the land. So it started by this and then also this. Uh, this I think maybe is a hand-drawn uh, plow. And then this is what has been happening. Over here there used to be an old uh, uh, carriage you can see just the remains, very, very old carriage. This used to be the tire, the tire, this one and this one. Actually, it was four wheels and also this one. You can see this old, 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 the old tire of the tractor. But one of these is at the De La Mer farm. Maybe I'll show you if I find the pictures in my gallery so that's it about it i want to go to the main main gallery and document once again we'll come back this is a note in china so let's do this and i'm here maybe i'll take a photo here before i proceed but uh let me hello guys how are you doing Hi. my name is brian anoto and uh, i would love for somebody to take me through yeah do you have the details at the tip? And are you not afraid of the camera? Then come. Awesome. So she's going to check me. And uh, so first of all, you have to introduce yourself. So here Hi, you I'm Ivy. I'm a tour guide at Kitale Museum. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take him through the gallery section. All right. Let's, but first, I want to take a photo here because the sun is here. Uh, Maybe somebody can take us a photo, just me and you. Uh, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Okay, come. So we are about to go in, but first I want us to take a photo here. Can it be seen or the sun is... Uh, that way is good. Italian Museum. It's awesome. Let me see. Uh, uh, 
but the words I wanted the words to appear the gallery not the gallery the National Museums of Western Kenya one more time or you can check this way yeah Yeah, that's better. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so she's now our professor. She's going to take us through what we have here. And I hope you are not in a hurry. Yeah. Take time and uh, tell us what you see. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Poisson. Yes. Ni Poisson. Hii ni mimi peke yangu. Unaona si focus camera kwa mtu. Yote ni only me. Wamekupa kama na nimwambia this is focusing on me. So kwa gate pad. Haja disumbua. So ananiambia hata nikininiwa alikuwa alikuwa nafikiri maybe na record. But uh, vile si unaona the camera is for I mean, you have fun, so I don't know what that means. Yeah, but is it a big concern? Inside, no, we don't allow photos. Photos? Inside. Why? But I, in the National Museums of Kenya in Nairobi, I was allowed. There's a For? For taking photos inside. Inside? Yeah. Why? Yes. But in Nairobi, there was no big deal. Yeah. Kama kuna? Kuna. No, no. My agenda is to come here because I was born here, and we come here when we were young, so many times in Sunday school, primary, high school. So I just want to remind myself of those memories. I have no interest in anything, just to reminisce on the moments. Yeah. I'm not a media station. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I work with the Museum of Nairobi, but that one. Yeah? Museum Nairobi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mammology section. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So you have the card? No, my, I, I will explain that off this camera. Maybe in one minute so that you relate. Um, so that if. Let me show you something. This process is so <laughs> taxing. Uh, pardon? The lady and the gentleman. Yeah. But I just wanted to come in as a citizen, not this, this, this. <laughs> Now I have to look for it. Okay, let me, because I'm also getting tired. <laughs> yeah, all right, so we are inside. Okay, welcome to Salem. Yeah, you can, you can come also, no big deal. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Faith. Faith. Yeah. Are you okay with the camera? Yes. So, okay, introduce yourself. I'm Faith. Uh -huh. I'll be your guide today. Okay, okay. Also, uh, welcome to Kitale Museum. Yeah, okay, that's awesome. I uh, all of you. How about yes. you? I am Mary. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Kitale Museum. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am here to learn and also to... I was born here, so I want to remind myself of we used to come when we were in nursery, primary, high school, and also Sunday school. So it's been a long time. This one is a special one. Okay, so just take it away. I want to learn as much as possible. Don't mind. So, okay. 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 My name is Brian Anoto. Anoto. Yeah. I need to write the visitor's book? No, you just write for me. Oh, this is my name. Oh yeah, yeah. But I'm here for a few months. You are home? 
Here. Yeah, here and in Nairobi. Okay. Yeah. Brian Anoto. A N O T O. Yeah. No, I'm uh, new here. Ah, okay. Yeah. Welcome. Vandu Vamusala. Okay. All right. Uh, so can we continue? Yeah, we can continue. Okay. Uh -huh. This is the gallery section, this the heart of the museum. The heart of the museum? Yeah. Oh, this, uh, the whole gallery? The whole gallery. Okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the information about Kitalia Museum. Mm -hmm. Kitalia Museum started in 1926 mm -hmm. by a museum called Colonel Stoneham. Colonel? Stoneham. Okay, okay. He was a British mm -hmm. and he was a Navy. A Navy? Yeah. Navy seal. Navy. Yeah, yeah, okay, Navy, the, the yeah. army, army part of the Navy. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And he participated in the First World War mm -hmm. and he won that lion, the, the head of a lion. Oh, was given as a trophy. This one? Yeah. Oh, for fighting the World War? Yeah. Okay, the First World War. Yeah, and okay. it came from Tanganyika. Oh, in Tan that is Tanzania. In Tanzania. Okay, okay. In 1939. 1939? Yeah. So this must be very, very, very old. Mm. What? Last time I just saw it, uh, it never thought about it. <laughs> How did they never goodness? know yeah. information about it. Yeah, yeah, I never knew. And when he was at his tender age of five years, mm -hmm. he used to to collect butterflies. Mm -hmm. He was interested in mm -hmm. entomology, entomology, study of insects. Yeah. So here, mm -hmm. we have displayed some of his collection butterflies. Mm -hmm. And some collection here mm -hmm. was given by his friends as gift, like now, the equal. This one? Yeah. Uh -huh. Now his friends, were they also kids or big people? Okay. Or whether when this is was, when he, he was, was much, yeah, he was okay. grown. He used to collect this. This butterfly he collected it so he it when he was at his tender age of five years. Okay. But when he matured, mm -hmm. he he when he participated in the first world war, mm -hmm. now different friends started mm -hmm. to give him different things. Okay. So yeah. he had a collection. Yeah, a collection. Mm. So did he used to live here in Kitali? Yeah, in Cherengani Hills. Oh, in Hills. Yeah, the oh. museum started in Cherengani Hills. Mm -hmm. It was brought here in 1974. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the one in is still... No. Was it, it his home? Yeah, his home was in Cherengani Hills. Is, is, is his home still... No. <laughs> oh, because that could also be a very good piece of... Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. What was his name again? Colonel, Colonel. Stone... Colonel Hang Stoneham. Colonel Hans Stoneham. Yeah. Uh, complicated name. <laughs> from Europe, right? British. He was a oh, British. Britain. Oh, from British. Britain. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Awesome. And he, all, he was interested in music. Mm -hmm. He was also gifted that piano over there. It's okay. over a hundred years. This one? Yeah. But you are not allowed to touch it. Oh. But it's a real piano. But you have touched it. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me, I'm oh, oh, you are not show allowed you. to play I'm it. I'm not playing it, but I'm showing you. Okay, can I be the one closing it? Yeah, you can close it. Because 100 years? Yeah, it's over 100 years. What? It must be. Oh my God. Yeah, that way. 100 years. Gifted. Yeah. A gift also. It was from England. England. Yeah, it okay. was given by a friend. Mm -hmm. So this is all the information about the information about it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, children's creative corner. Oh, yeah. this one. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. When the primary kids come mm -hmm. to museum. Okay. They always learn here. Oh. Like they read. Mm -hmm. We have information of children. Okay. When we were young in high school in Kitale Academy. Kitale. So no, it's Kitale school. Kitale school. Yeah. So when they used to ask us to draw things. So one of them could be brought here yeah. and others could be taken to the, the Kitale showground. Yeah. So I have memories so have of that. From different schools. Those okay. shots are from different schools. Oh this one. Yeah. So right now can children also draw like we used to do mm -hmm. and come. Draw. Like okay. this one is for Angels Academy. Okay. You know Angels Yeah, Academy. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And this one is for also Angels Academy. Okay, okay. Angels, mm -hmm. angels, angels, mm -hmm. all this for Angels Academy. Oh, I wish I could draw when I was young, then I put it somewhere, and then I come now see it. it would be a good <laughs> I piece. wish you knew that. Time. Yeah, maybe if I have a kid, I will do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And awesome. here, mm -hmm. it's a and this wheelchair is no, also. We, if we have a disabled. Oh, oh, I, oh, you use this wheelchair. Yeah. 
Oh, I thought maybe it's part of the collection. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, this is the plastic record player. There? Plastic record player. Oh, this one. Uh, this one. Okay, okay. Then this one is cordial. Cordial? Yeah. Okay, okay. It used to contain maximum of three songs mm -hmm. and minimum of one song. So maybe storage a few KBs, yeah. not even MBs. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Also, it was part of his collection? Yeah, it was part of Stoneham's collection. Okay. Also a gift or this one he bought? No, this one, <laughs> it's not from, it's not a gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And this is information about? Yeah, about the, it. Uh, Stoneham's collection. Yeah. Uh, when I used to come, I just used to come see and go. But right now, at least I'm connecting with the story more. Yeah. Yeah. At least now you can learn more about yeah. Italian Museum Gallery. Yeah. yeah. And, and the bike? This bike, yeah. its information is not yet okay. written, okay. but it's high, it has its own history. It, was it also his collection? No. Okay, <laughs> it's will... not Stoneham collection. Mm -hmm. Okay. In museum, we have 70% of Stoneham's collection mm -hmm. and 30% of Western culture. Western culture. Yeah. Okay. Like the tools. Mm -hmm. And before the museum, we came to government, mm -hmm. our government. Mm -hmm. Stoneham wrote the will, mm -hmm. and that typewriter is the one that Stoneham used to write the will. Yeah, we'll start from and here. he wrote it that mm -hmm. he's leaving the Cherengani Museum mm -hmm. to government of Kenya. So uh, this was his land? Yeah, it was his okay, land. Basically, we were colonized, and then they took this land. Yeah. So he offered it back, back to, to our government. Oh, okay, okay. Now it's Kenyan government property. So, and this typewriter here yeah. is the one you used to type. To type Basically, way. this was his and laptop or yeah, computer. Computer. Yeah. It's yeah. A replica of computers. Uh, uh, is it still functional? Yeah, it's functioning. Uh, this was the how we, the font. He was a researcher also. Oh. And he used, he used to study about botany. Botany. Plants. Okay. Yeah. Oh, botany. And uh, that is him. Yeah. In, do you have a real picture of him? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here we have this image oh, when but he was old. Yeah, he was old. Yeah. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Hoof Stonham. <laughs> Is that the right Colonel name? Hang. Uh, oh, Colonel Hang. Hang. Stonham, Stonham with one of his collection of butterflies. Is this still here? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Oh, that's uh. We have it here. Oh. Let's see. Butterflies. Butterflies. This one. Uh. Okay, okay. Very good. Let me, let me read some small piece. Many of the Kitali Museum's fascination collections originally formed part of the Stoneham Museum, founded by Lieutenant Colonel Hung yeah. Stoneham in 1926. He began collecting butterflies, just as you have said, and insects as a child and continued to collect and to study the wildlife of Kenya throughout his life. So, this is more information. I want to bore you with yeah. this information. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you were saying something about this before I interrupted. Okay. Uh -huh. I've, I've told you that here in Zambia it contains thirty percent of Western culture mm -hmm. and seventy percent of Colonel Stoneham collection. Okay. Yeah. So the thirty percent, yeah. it's like this collection. Oh, this collection. Artifacts. Oh, artifacts. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. But here it's under renovation. We have oh. not yet labeled them. Oh, okay. Okay. Awesome. We can proceed. Yeah. Stoneham Hoof. Hi. <laughs> that name. Hang. Hang. Okay, okay. So here mm -hmm. it's about fossils. You know, fossils yeah. is the remains of plants and animals. Yeah, yeah. And here is the structure of sedimentary rock. Mm -hmm. Fossils was used to collect near sedimentary rock mm -hmm. and water bodies. Mm -hmm. So that map is showing us where those fossils were found. Like okay. Kobifora and mm -hmm. Hyrax Hill. Mm -hmm. In yeah. Kenya, only okay. in Kenya, uh -huh. yeah. And that picture over there, uh -huh. we we are, we are trying to show the archaeologists. Uh -huh. So now archaeologists are the, the collectors yeah, of the collectors of fossils. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one's archaeologists. Uh, uh, also, is this how or yeah. hi? Mm -hmm. That's name. Yeah. Hi. Okay. okay. Yeah. There, that man is called uh, and a lady and a man, uh -huh. Doctor Mary Leakey and his husband. Oh, Mary Leakey. Yeah. 
Mary Leaky. Okay, what I know is uh, Leaky and his wife, they were archaeologists, archaeologists and yeah. also maybe let's say uh, researchers and uh, uh, conservatives. Yeah. They, used to, they like to conserve nature. So most of the early remains in Kenya, they have been discovered or they have been first documented by right. Leaky mm-hmm. and the wife. The wife yeah. Am I right it's up to that? Yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> so we are... Uh, we are on the same page. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm a good student. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good student. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. this app, we are trying to show that mm-hmm. at first we had no tools. Mm-hmm. They were using stones mm-hmm. as their tools. Mm-hmm. So they are trying to break that bone okay. so that they can eat the, mon- the bone marrow. Oh, yeah. Mm. With the stone. Yeah. Oh, that's, hey, right now is the soft life. <laughs> we have folks. Yeah. Oh, it's a very good. Early man and the prehistory. Yeah. The story of mankind forms a small fragment of the earth's long life. Little of the story has been set down in written history, history of which there is no written record. It's, it's called, called prehistory. Prehistory. So prehistory, we know about the period by studying the remains or the fossils dug up by various places, where at various Adam places lived. where Adam man lived. It is now believed that the first human being may have originated from East Africa yeah. in, po- in Trukana. So, in welcome home. Skull, yeah, okay. Trukana boys. Okay. The Trukana boys. Yeah. So, this is the evolution of man. Mm-hmm. Evolution is the gradual change. Mm-hmm. And you have three stages of evolution of man. Mm-hmm. We have fossils, mm-hmm. artifacts, mm-hmm. and footprint. Fossils like these ones? Yeah, like the and Australopithecus. Uh-huh. And Australopithecus, we had different species of Australopithecus. Uh-huh. We had Africanus, uh-huh. Aparensis, uh-huh. Robustus, uh-huh. and Boise. Uh-huh. And the upright man was Homo habilis. No, not Erectus. No, Homo uh-huh. erectus. Uh-huh. The first upright man was, was Homo, Homo habilis. habilis. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Then Homo erectus was the one who discovered fire. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm. And the, the first fire was invented here in Africa, yeah. in East Africa. In East Africa. Oh, welcome home. We are creative. Yeah. <laughs> there were DJs. More <laughs> fire. <laughs> okay. Then we have early Stone Age, uh-huh. Middle Stone Age, and Late Stone Age. Early Stone Age, Middle and Late Stone Age. The Late, the, the late Stone Age, uh-huh. the tools were small. Okay. Small in size. Like they were advancing and yeah. becoming more efficient yeah. here. Mm. Okay, okay. And uh, this, as you said, was footprint. the footprint. Was a footprint for Australopithecus afarensis. It was a giant. Yeah. What? This is a baby, and then, or oh, this is the woman, this is the man. Yeah. Okay. No, this one oh. is for a baby. A baby. It's small. Okay. You will see the Australopithecus boise family mm-hmm. here next. And th- is this a real, real, real? Yeah. The one who excavated it is Dr. Mary Leakey. Oh, now this uh, Mary Leakey mm-hmm. comes in hand. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, Leakey was uh, one of the managers at the main national museum in Nairobi. Nairobi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew that. Okay. You know, I have to visit Nairobi Museum. Uh, you've not been to Nairobi Museum? I have been there. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe now when you know this, when you visit, you'll, you'll also see there's a, let's say a hall dedicated uh, on his name, and there's Dr. a statue. No, the, the Dr. Leaky, the, the, the yeah, husband. The husband. Okay. When you enter, there's a statue that has been made to mimic him. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'm and not so good in history. Is, I, I guess old one or. Old old Dubai George. Old 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 Dubai tools. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then this one is Acheulean. Acheulean. Microlithic. Microlithic. <laughs> yeah, okay. The late Stone Age is microlithic. But I'm not so good in history. You say you 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 are good in history. No, I'm good in geography. Ah. Yeah, not <laughs> history. <laughs> I actually okay. dropped history. Okay. Even me dropped history, but I have information. Yeah, I'm okay. You, smart. I'm just like you, but you <laughs> at least you studied them, okay. and uh, you you know the information. 
then he is Australopithecus mm-hmm. boisei family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Australopithecus. He played Australopithecus boisei family mm-hmm. because they were unique. Mm-hmm. Other Australopithecus used to eat raw meat, mm-hmm. but boisei mm-hmm. was unique be- because he used to eat vegetables. Vegetables. He, yeah, he was a vegetarian. Okay. Boisei. Boisei. Be- boisei. Uh, boisei. Boisei. Yeah. yeah. Australopithecus. Australopithecus boisei. Boisei. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. A vegetarian. Yeah. This is the first vegetarian. Yeah, he was the first vegetarian. Why was and he vegetarian? Was the food scarce? No, he used to live in savanna vegetation. Savanna, like and, yeah, mimicked there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he had not discovered fire. Mm-hmm. And also, I don't know the reason why he did not eat raw meat. Mm-hmm. And he was unique mm-hmm. from the other Australopithecus. Mm-hmm. But this Australopithecus boy say mm-hmm. he had not discovered clothes mm-hmm. and he used to speak using click sound, oh, like the Hoysan oh, yeah. in South Africa. Yeah. And they used to live in caves. Caves. Uh-huh. During the daytime at night, they used to climb trees oh, okay, okay. so that they can protect themselves from dangerous wild animals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what I'll remember most about this guy, yeah. Australopithecus boy say. Yeah. He was vegetarian and he used to, to speak in click sound. Uh-huh. Like, I want to go on today and come back tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Can you try? No, I cannot speak like that. <laughs> How about you? Uh, so, I can always speak in clicking sound. But I, I used to try, a friend of mine put me to a challenge of speaking in clicking sound. But at least I know how to speak in a clicking sound. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is. The guy. The guy and the family. The family. The mother. The mother. The child. And the child. Mm. And the child is eating, eating a nut. A fruit. A fruit. Yeah. It's, oh. a, it's a fruit. Hey, this is a very good yeah, you see the is What? Oh, this is so good. It lo- almost looks real. <laughs> like it, it takes you back in time. Yeah. Yeah. What? No clothes. No clothes. Naked truth. Naked truth. <laughs> Yeah, before the world uh, mess itself, <laughs> this was how we used to be. I think that was awesome, young, wild, and free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now this is the thirty mm-hmm. percent. It's starting from here. Okay, the thirty so percent that you mentioned. So this is some faces of Western Kenya. Mm-hmm. The Bukusu woman. The Bukusu woman. Yeah. Mm. So Bukusu woman, mm-hmm. she used to. She was a weaver. Mm-hmm. You see, she has beads. Yeah, meaning yeah. they were doing bead working yeah, yeah. and they were blacksmith also uh-huh. because he has she has the the chuma the bangles the bangles yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bukusu and, woman yeah yeah uh-huh. the bukusu uh-huh. they were in fertile land so uh-huh. they practiced mixed farming uh-huh. they were also pastoralists okay. as you see that picture over there yeah. is showing their land. Uh, it's green. Yeah, yeah green. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we could, we could, you, you can see they have the ch- chicken. The chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, most of the lawyers have been stereotyped to like to like chicken. So yeah. this is a true representation of the Luya origin. Particularly, this one is the Bukusu woman. Yeah. Bukusu In Luyas, we have so many subtypes. Yeah. So this one is the Bukusu, Bukusu woman. woman. Awesome. And they were also weavers. They were also they were weaving the basket, and yeah. I can see his. You can see the basket. The da- the, yeah. And the. The sisal, yeah. yeah, skirt. Yeah, meaning they were weavers. Yeah, yeah, and also they were dancers because yeah, that sisal skirt. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah they love to dance. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, awesome. And the Trukana woman. The Trukana woman. The leadership in Trukana was seen when men. You can see she's holding a stick. Oh, a long time ago, the leadership of Tukana, the oh, yeah. women were in charge. Yeah, women were in charge. Uh-huh. So, they were also blacksmiths. Uh-huh. They have that bangle. Yeah, I can see the bangles. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And that, that it's called what? Uh, which one? Kauri Shailor. Uh, yeah, the... Inyiko kwa kiuno. The Kuno, yes, it's, it's, I think it's Kaurish here. Yeah. Yeah, Kaurish here. Yeah, yeah. On the waist, this one. Mm. Yeah. And then this other part it is made with meaning, leather. That Kaurish. It had a meaning. Yeah, it had a meaning. Uh-huh. It, could, it could protect the mother, uh-huh. the mother and the child, uh-huh. when she has given birth from bad omen. Uh-huh. And when the mother has given birth, uh-huh. it could reduce the stomach back to its normal 
size. Oh, <laughs> for real? Yeah, for real. So it was like a natural, um, how do I say? Like today I was reading an, an article on the newspaper, they were saying that uh, by citizen, single mother women, they deny the child breastfeeding so that their stomach comes back to... Yeah, to normal. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know the scientific background of that. But at least I can relate with this. In, that, in yeah. the ancient time, they wear that to bring that back the shape. Yeah, the and six it part. was, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was worn by the Kalenjin women mm -hmm. and the Trukana woman. Mm -hmm. How about the Pokot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. even the Pokot, okay. they have they it. They used to wear that they, white they, thing. They, they are still wearing it. Up to today? Up to today, yeah. And why do women have this Shanga now? Is it because ah, of the same reason? The Shanga, yeah. the... West bead. The West bead, I see them. Okay, don't ask me how I see them, <laughs> but I know. <laughs> okay, West bead. Yeah. Yeah, it, it brings shape. Yeah. Even that tiny, 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 the tiny West bead. Yeah. That is for real. It brings shape, yeah. Okay, some people in course say that West bead, sometimes I don't know it's blessed or sometimes it's has been done, which is. So if you have a man and you put it, yeah, it you'll has keep the bit. man. It has many meaning, but me, you know it's for but the bringing, first shape. bringing shape. But yeah. And but if you don't work out and just put a bead, uh, it uh, won't work. It won't work. Yeah. So you should also eat well and, yeah, and exercise. Yeah, okay. You do exercise. But it's good, good to see how things that were done in the past, in the past. we see them in our modern women. Yes. Yeah, it's called Shanga. <laughs> you know, uh, there's a, in Mombasa, when the ladies are uh maybe bragging about the man they normally say nitakuva hiya shanga wewe utaniacha yeah it means i will wear for you the beard uh on the waist you will not leave me yeah so it's I don't, true i don't know maybe it's some witchcraft or i don't know what's happening yeah, because it's, it's if you see a lady with a the the beard the thing bead. the man will not go anywhere <laughs> Yeah, he's been trapped. But me, I don't believe yeah, in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Also, me, I don't, that's not my opinion. I also don't believe in that. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. Okay. Okay, okay. Then, uh, when you have more beads, many beads mm -hmm. in Trukana women. Mm -hmm. Like this one? Yeah, they are wealthy in beads. Oh. Uh, the more you have beads, the mm -hmm. more you are wealthy. Like this one seems to be very, very, very. Yeah. Okay. This woman is a wealth woman. Like she's, she's rich. The beads. That's a lot. Yeah. What? And you, you know we had butter trade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the cowry share mm. and the beads. Okay. What? As we had, we we had mm. food. Or we we used to exchange with animals. Animals. Oh, okay. Food. Okay. Yeah. You said us. Which which? Oh, oh the, the the past. The the our, our ancestors. Like you, which which community do you come from? Okay, me I'm a Luya. Oh Luya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the which which Luya? I'm a Bukuso. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Now I can you can <laughs> merge the story. So you guys used to have a lot of that, yeah. the cereals. So you used to we exchange used to with. Exchange with, no, that beads. Mm -hmm. We used to exchange our food. Mm -hmm. We get the beads. Oh, we get these beads. Yeah. Was it value for your money? Yeah. Or oh, the beads that time were the like the fashion. Yeah, it was like a fashion. But for you guys, you, when you get the beads, it's just for fun. Yeah, today it's for fun. Oh, just for fun. Yeah. All right. It's 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 very interesting how things are becoming modern and Evolution. it's good also to compare with the past. How yeah. we are evolving. Yeah, how we are evolving. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and when uh, a Trukana married woman, mm -hmm. when you are married, you, you cover the whole part, front and the back part. Oh, like yeah. this one, yeah, yeah. she's married. Yeah. Now she's covering the front part and the back part. When you're not married, mm -hmm. you only cover the front part, you leave the back part. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's very, very... So that time there were no Timafisi. Yeah. <laughs> People are not, uh, okay, but I know a long time ago, people are just normal, so this was not a big deal. Yeah. But right now, at least, uh, we can see what's happening. Uh, this, this is a very good piece of information. So this one married because he covers the front and, and the, the back. back part. Okay, okay, okay. So when you're not married, you're not supposed to cover, to cover the whole part. You cover the front part alone, okay. you leave the back part. How about the top part? 
the, the, the whole community. They okay. not discovered. The bra was not yeah, discovered. The, the bra was not there. Okay, okay. And they had, they had no clothes that you could cover. Okay. Like the Nigerians. Uh, okay, In Nigeria don't know. movie, you mm-hmm. see, they cover the, the front part. Okay. And they, they wear laces. Uh, okay. But uh, at the past, they had not discovered those things. Okay. So they used to leave their... The church there. Ch- yeah. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, in the past, there was no... The bra was not invented, so... This is how uh, they used to be. But uh, the beads on them look so beautiful, actually. Yeah, Very beautiful. natural. Right now, we have the bra. I, I wish you could go back in time. <laughs> so that we could <laughs> appreciate... you can see their chest is well farm. set. Yeah, it's well farm. set. Yeah, they are, yeah. I think also because they used to eat natural food, yeah. no fast food, so yeah. they, most of them, okay, all of them are very fit, very, very fit, even the Bukusu woman, very fit. Uh, even the Nandi woman. The Nandi woman. So the Nandi woman, mm-hmm. they were pastoralists. Mm-hmm. They later discovered that other communities like the Bukusu woman, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they are planting mm-hmm. crops. So the Nandi woman started mm-hmm. by planting sorghum. Sorghum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they became later farmers, but okay. they were first pastoralists. Oh, okay, okay. Like that picture is showing their heart mm-hmm. and their animals. That their heart, heart and their animals yeah, over yeah. here. Mm. Awesome, awesome. The f- Nandi woman. So, and this and she's, she's carrying a guard. A uh, guard, for, yeah. For Mursik. For Mursik. Oh. What about the so, porridge, that one? No. The guard. Oh, oh, the porridge, they, they used to put some milk, put oh. some milk in that guard. Okay. Porridge was served in. I'll show you there. Okay, okay. And, and uh, the Nandi woman, uh-huh. they are, this one is also a married woman. Oh, okay. Because they, they are covering the, she's the, covering both parts, the front part and the back part. Okay. Mm. So if you see a woman who has nothing, yeah, she is very single. Yeah, she's single. But why is she showing what he has? <laughs> see, see, she is showing the back part. The back part. Mm. So that, or the maybe it's men to, uh, used to, to get attracted with the, the back part. Now I get the evolution <laughs> of why men love. Men, they love nyash. In the nyash. The nyash is basically the. Me and you nice us. I want to say that so that I protect. <laughs> so people like me and you nice us. In the past, so the woman who was single used to walk out. Uh, the back was not normally seen. No, the back was seen. seen. The back was seen. So that she could, the, the man yeah. could be attracted with that nyash. Okay. Yeah. So w- when the man is attracted with the nyash or me and you nice us, <laughs> he could pursue the woman and finally when they get to date and now marry traditionally the women could carry the could, could uh, cover the front and the back so the future will become well protected and also the past is also well protected like you can see here and here that's a very good piece of information also the front was for attraction no no you're supposed to cover your front oh, front because it's private oh, so you okay. have to cover it okay, okay. but you have the, to leave the back part. okay I, I, I never knew about that honestly <laughs> honestly I, I don't know about it but that's a very how, how about the bukusu man the same applies to her uh, no uh-huh. the bukusus uh-huh. I guess the married one uh-huh. could wear the beautiful ornaments uh-huh. so that when you see the woman uh-huh. that she has beautiful ornaments, uh-huh. you just know that she's married. Uh-huh. But the unmarried ones, uh-huh. they used to wear dull, dull. ornaments. Oh, your dull. Dull. Oh. dull colors. So the ones who are single, bright. Yeah. The ones who are married, dull. So the bright is to see, to make, to be noticed. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a very, very outstanding piece of information right there. The Bukusu woman, they used to wear the dark colors, that is if you are married. But if you are single, you could use to wear the bright colors so that you attract the male or attract a mate. That's a very good piece of information. I didn't know about that. No, you have yeah. And also actually in the animal kingdom, uh-huh. um, the male, uh, okay, sexual dimorphism. Um, 
you can in 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 the animal kingdom the male is the beautiful one and the female is the dull one so that the females can get to attracted to the male and they can mate so it's very unique how this information rotates around humanity and also the animal kingdom awesome that's very nice and so now here we have the luo warrior the luo he looks like like raila amolo dinga he goes, joey 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 <laughs> Uh, mouth. I think uh, my battery is. Like, Can you hold on for? Okay. okay. I hope you have. I have. You're not in a rush. I hope so. Okay. I'm not in a rush. Okay, hold this for me. Uh, let me change. This.